PPC and Excel go hand in hand like Larry Page and Sergey Brin. So I'm going to show you some of the PPC formulas you need to know to get the most from your paid search campaigns coming up after this. Hi guys, thanks for jumping on this very quick tutorial video. So this is going to be around Excel formulas for PPC. First of all, we're going to start off with a very simple formula to change and manipulate the text within text ads. So let's start off with the upper formula. So this is literally transferring text into uppercase. So hit the equal symbol to start your formula and start typing in upper. Select the formula, then select the cell you want to act the formula on, then hit enter and there you have it. Upper as a formula transfers text to uppercase. Now let's do the same thing again to transfer lowercase. So you'll notice in the, in the cell below, we have a sentence of text for the headline that is in sentence case. So we'll transfer this to lowercase. So same formula again, just slightly different, equals lower. And then that will transfer the text you select in the formula to lowercase. And that's it, simple as that. And when you'd use this formula would be for things like if you get some ad copy or some copy from your, from your marketing department, and you need to make it into lowercase and it's all sentence case you can do that quite easily next up we have another very simple formula called proper and this one creates sentence case so literally enter equals and then hit proper on your formulas and that's it very simple so next up we have the len formula so i always talk about planning is important in ad campaigns on ppc so this will literally when you create a text ad it will give you the character length of each cell you choose so very simple formula, equal, len, then choose the cell you want to count the characters of and hit enter. And like you can do with all formulas in Excel, you can just select the cell you've done the formula in, drag it down with the bottom right corner option, and there you have it. For the headline one, headline two, and the body text, you now have a character count, and you can see we're all within the character limits for AdWords, which are 30 characters, 30 characters, 80 characters. So we are absolutely fine there. Next up, we have concatenation, which is literally adding one cell to another. Now, when you use this formula, it's for making keyword lists. So you'll see here, I've got a list of every single city in the UK, and I'm running a plumbing campaign, and I've started off with my keyword list wanting to bid on keywords, plumbers, in, and then location. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to make the keywords modified broad match, so all of them need a plus in front. So let's start the formula with an equals, and then concatenate, select it from the list. Now, let's start off with adding the plus, first of all once you activate the formula. So do some brackets, quote marks, and then do a plus, and then you can do a comma to start the next cell. So we started the first cell, then we do another comma, and then we do another quotation mark, and then a space for the space in the next word of the keyword, then the plus for the modified broad match, then another quotation mark to end it, another quote to separate the next cell, which is very easy to do, and then you do the same thing over and over again. And essentially what you're doing there is concatenating the cells together with a customized string of text, which is a space, and obviously the plus mark for the modified broad match keyword. Add all those together, hit enter, and you've concatenated your cells into keywords. So now if you just click the bottom right-hand corner of a cell and, and activate it to go down and, and repeat the formula, and do the same on the other side of where you've just done your formula, you'll see you've now got a fully fledged keyword list of modified broad match keywords. Now, now we're going to kick things up a little bit and we're going to start off with if statements. Now, this is a formula I would use to analyze keyword data at a glance for a client, for example. So here's a keyword list I downloaded from AdWords earlier. And in this example, I want to find out which keywords have a cost per conversion above 50 pounds. So in order to do that, I need to create an if statement to give me some statements as to whether or not the keyword is a threshold keyword or not, whether it meets that criteria. So let's start off with the equal sign and then type in if to start your if statement. So first of all, you need to give it a logical test. So in my example, I'm going to select the first cost per conversion cell. If that cell is greater than 50, so the greater symbol than 50, then I want to return a specific statement. So hit comma to start the next part of the formula to give the statement whether it's true. Now, if the cell is indeed above that threshold, I'm gonna put a quotation mark and I'm gonna type in high CPA and this will return the result of high, P high CPA if they go above that threshold. Let's do a comma and that will start off with the negative threshold and that will tell it to say it's an okay CPA if it does go under 50 quid. So this is a very easy way to see at a glance whether your keywords are performing or not. So here's the formula. We've done the logical test, we've hit OK, and there it is. This keyword in the top has an OK CPA. 
Now, if we drag that all the way down, it will come back with all the different results and you'll see them there. So for the benefit of reporting, we're gonna mix this with some conditional formatting as well. So by using conditional formatting, what that's gonna do, is gonna allow us to see at a glance whether or not a keyword is good or bad or meeting the results that we want them to. So head over to the home tab, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, cell that contain the text, and then start typing in obviously one of your logical te tests. In this example, we'll start off with the OK CPA. We'll make that green for good, because it's a good result, it's below what we want it. And then we'll start off with the next one, which is the bad CPA or the undesirable CPA. And if it's greater than 50, then we go with dark red text to highlight the bad of the, of the keywords. And that's it. Now you have a nice report there for your clients or for your internal reporting. And you can see at a glance, good keywords or bad keywords. The final formula I'm going to show you guys is a bit more complex. This is the V lookup. So we've got two tables of data here, which are month one and the month two. So say, for example, I want to find out the cost per conversion of one of my keywords in month two and see how it performed in month one and pull that data from another table. So this is called a VLOOKUP. And what you need to do for this is type in equals as usual to start the formula and then type in VLOOKUP and select the formula. First of all, you need to tell Excel what value you're looking for. So in this example, we'll start off with the first keyword in my list of month two and select that value. And this value is what we're going to look for in the month one data table to try and pull the conversion rate. So we've selected that data. Now we head over to month one. We need to tell Excel the entire table that we're looking for. So you select the entire table go to the top left upper my cell, hold control and shift, hit down and right. You selected the entire cell and now we need to tell Excel which column to find that data in. And it's by index number. So column J is index number 10, counting across all the way to number 10. So you enter the comma first of all, and then put number 10 to tell Excel we're looking for the data in column number 10. And then you hit comma. That's done. Next is a true or false test. Hitting true means it's got to be a half match. Hitting false means it's an exact match and we're looking exactly for that keyword. And you'll see that now we've found that value. Very easy to do. And you can drag that formula down to find the values in the previous, in the previous sheet, in this sheet as well. And you can see here that's pull the value. So let's just double check that. Go back to month one, go to our very first keyword, which is email marketing lists. That's down there, we found it. And it's pull the correct cost per conversion. And there it is. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very, I guess, more technical tutorial, but I'm sure you hopefully took a lot out of it. I do talk fast and I do go through these things quickly, so at any time you can pause the tape, have a look back and look at the very top as well where I'm entering the formulas and look at what I'm actually typing in as well and review it. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on with analyzing your PPC campaigns and I'll see you guys on my next video.